Hey everybody, got a good video for you today. I just got my strutting tom decoy from Heads Up Decoy in the mail. I'm gonna break it down, show you what it comes with, show you how I mount it to my bow. So make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, and stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the box. I'll show you uh, everything that comes with the, the kit. Um, I did have to order the bow mount. So this is a $25 addition on top of the $60 for the decoy. And this will allow me to mount the decoy to my stabilizer. Get directions, ground stake, the handle, and then the decoy. Um, and this ring also, which I'll show you here in a second. Let me get this box out of the way. All right, so this is the decoy. Um, it has a fan ring, I believe is what they call this. Um, I will take my turkey fan from last year. I may, uh, jakes are legal to kill here in Connecticut. I may actually have a jake um, in my sights this year because I would really like to have a jake fan for this decoy instead of using a, a tom decoy. So we'll see. I'll ask uh, Dave Bishop. Maybe they have a... Uh, a, a Jake fan. I know Bishop loves to shoot Jake, so he's probably got like 20, 25 Jake fans in his basement. So, but that slides in here. I'll show you how that all breaks down. Um, but again, $60 for the decoy, $25 for the bracket to mount it to your stabilizer. Um, so I'll go ahead and put this together. Um, it does come with the directions. Uh, full disclosure, I did take this stuff out of the box. I looked at it, kind of played around with it a little bit. Um, you know, the directions they provide had me set up in, in a couple minutes. It's not real difficult. Um, again, this comes all in one piece. There's a T here. You go ahead and unvelcro the two flaps down here. Take the handle. It has notches on both ends. Um, when you slide it through the T handle, a little bit of elbow grease, Just spin it to get it to slide through. And then in the top, and the camera's not gonna show it, but up on top here, um, there's another T that this slides into. So you're just gonna keep working it until it slides all the way up in there. And then this is by unvelcroing that. You can get your hand up in there to get it lined up with that T. And inside that T, it's notched. Like I was saying, it has the, the, the handle has that notch in it. So you're gonna line that up. There we go. Put the Velcro back on. And now you have the handle in. Um, and if you're using the ground stake, slides right in there again uses that notch stick it in the ground obviously I'd have the tail fan on here so let's uh, grab the tail fan real quick I did add some duct tape to this um, just the way that I mounted this myself it gives it a little bit more stability when it's in here um, but you just slide it between the ring and the face of the decoy slide that down in there and then this metal ring goes over top the back one through the feathers and over top and pop it on fix the feathers and there we go so again if you're using it for a ground stake slide that up in there stick that in the ground so what i want to do is i want to use it on my bow so go ahead and pop this open You get a bolt and you get the bracket. Um, I am going to, I'm using a Parker Poison 30. 
I have the Trophy Ridge Stabilizer. Uh, I do have a kickback as well. Um, I'm gonna, once I put this on, I'm gonna see how it balances. I may have to add some weight to this because this is going to be living over on this side. Um, with my quiver, um, you know, I do run 200 grain broadheads. My arrows are about 650 grain. So I do have a significant amount of weight on this side. Um, so I may have to add some weight to my stabilizer. Um, but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew the front cap of my Trophy Ridge stabilizer. So you'll have to take a look and see the stabilizer that you're running to see if you have the capability of screwing in onto the end. What this is going to do is it's going to push the decoy out in front of my bow um, instead of being back in here and possibly obstructing my sight or my sling, my quiver. So that's going to come off the bracket. I'm going to just run that same bolt back through the bracket or this is where the bolt that comes with it, you could use that as well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and screw this now back on. All right, so that's there. Slide this. So like I mentioned, it has a notch on both ends, so it doesn't matter which way you go. Inside of here, there's that same notch. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that in. And what that notch is going to do is gonna keep this decoy from spinning in the wind. All right, so I got that set up there. And now here's where you just adjust how you want it. So you can see right there, it is obstructing my sight. So I'm going to shift it. All right, so the one thing I noticed there was by running the cap back on, it's not staying tight. Um, and I also, before I take this all the way off, I also noticed that when this is in here, the image, I guess you can see, the turkey's crooked. So what I'm going to do is you can rotate this whole decoy around this ring so that when it's when the stake is this way the decoy is upright so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to rotate this um, this cap isn't staying tight so i'm going to use the um, bolt with the allen wrench get that all tightened up and i'll show you what the final version looks like all right so that's the final uh you know product there again a couple things that i learned from my setup the end cap for my trophy ridge stabilizer was not staying tight enough so i had to use the provided uh, bolt so i had to go get the allen wrench tighten that down and then the decoy when it comes out of the package it's set vertically as you can see i need it offset for my setup with my the way i have it mounted to my bow so the decoy spins on this ring so i had to get it situated to where um the angle and i still might adjust it just a little bit um but yeah so that's uh kind of what you got there. Obviously, I'm probably not going to walk around the woods like this. Wouldn't, will one, be safe. Uh, wouldn't be real easy to um, get through any kind of cover. So, you know, I'll just slide this out and, you know, bring it in separate. Um, I can walk around with the bracket on my bow still. Doesn't really add um, any obstruction issues there. And obviously this isn't something that I'm gonna be trekking you know, four or five, six miles, doing a lot of run and gun uh, with having a tail fan like this. But I think it'll be a cool, uh, a cool little option to have this year. Uh, I, I love to shoot turkeys with my bow. Um, and this is one thing that, you know, just something else to keep in my back pocket. I'm gonna go outside, fling a couple arrows with it just to make sure um, there's no clearance issues and to make sure that the noise isn't really an issue either. I don't think so. I mean, there's no, there's no rattling. Uh, maybe there'll be some vibration but uh, like anytime you add anything to your bow, practice, 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 whether it's a new quiver, new sight, new stabilizer. Um, I run the, the this is the, uh, was it my Slingaling uh, Sling by Jacket Gear. Anytime I add something new to my bow, I get as many repetitions in as possible um, just to make sure that the setup is, is solid before I go out and try to harvest an animal. So like I said, you know, hop outside, fling a couple arrows, um, and then we'll wrap this video up. All right, so it is extremely cold and windy today. So I'm just gonna huck one arrow here just for this video uh, demonstration to show you how it works. Um, like I said, it is blowing pretty good today. You can see how the fan is spinning around um, that the handle and with those notches. It definitely keeps it from uh, spinning uncontrollably. I will say though, it is like a sail for the bow. So I wouldn't want to be shooting in wind like this. 
one gust hit that uh, tail fan, it's going to throw your uh, your arrow off. But just real quick, again, just for demonstration purposes, how to shoot with this decoy on. Way too cold to be outside and windy to be hucking a bunch of arrows. Just wanted to show you how it works with my bow, with that bow mount set up on my stabilizer. Got any questions, hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok at Do It In Outdoors. Um, going to try to get the bow out at least once this year here in Connecticut or Massachusetts. Uh, so stay tuned for our content coming up here next month. Going to drop a link. Uh, actually, I'm going to drop a, a little bit of footage from last year's season opener here in Connecticut. And then the link for the full video will be down below or in the card up top. As always, please hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching. Baby.